Hey, welcome back to another C-sharp tutorial in our Hero Maker program. In this video, we're going to create a class which will hold a static value and it can be used in multiple forms. So I have this hero class here that is uh, for one hero. What I want to do is create a second class that will hold a list of heroes and then we can store them from one form and show them in another form. So let's go and create a new class. So I'm going to go to Add and choose the class choice. I'm going to call my class a hero list and it will contain a list, list of heroes obviously. So the first thing is to make sure that we have a property in here that can hold a list. So this is simple. All I need to do is create a list of type hero and I'm going to call it the Hall of Fame. And this has to be initialized as a new list. Now later on in the program, we are going to change this to a static property. So we'll find why that's important, but uh, right now let's leave it as a normal uh, property. So let's come back into our form, and remember in the Create Hero button is where we're going to do the creating. So we have a new hero object at the bottom of this method. Here it is right here. So after we've created a new hero, we want to add it to a list. So I'm going to do this incorrectly first, and then you'll see why it's important to use a static variable here. So let's say I'm just creating a new instance of this hero list. I want to add an item to it. So let's try my heroes and dot, and I would be looking for the Hall of Fame. However, Hall of Fame doesn't show up. So what did I do wrong, or what did I forget? Let's go check, check it out. Let's go with the hero list and see what might be wrong. So we didn't declare this thing as public. So let's try that, let's try public. And also this class should be public. So those first two things would help us out. Let's go back into the form now. And let's see if my heroes dot has anything. There it is. We have the new property called Hall of Fame. So now I want to add an item to the Hall of Fame, which is my new hero. So far so good. Now the problem with this is as soon as this button is finished ex uh, ex executing its code, it will uh, do the message box and reach this bracket. Once this bracket is reached and the message box is closed, this hero, this list of heroes, just disappears. That's called the, the, uh, uh, the scope of the variable. So we want to enlarge this scope so that we can access the list from other places on the form and even other forms. So let's, uh, let's not declare this thing as a new item here. So I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to do what's maybe the next logical solution. It's not quite the right one, but it'll get you closer to where you're thinking. So I'm going to use Control X. So hero list is gone. Now the next thing you might think of is where should I put this? Well, we have this uh, property list up here or these variables. We could just put it in there. So the new heroes list is now accessible anywhere on this form. This will work for a while and we will come back and change this again but for right now this will this will help us out. So now let's check to see if we can give a update on how many heroes we've made. So let's uh, give another message box. So the message box that I want to show uh, next is uh, a count. So it'll tell us how many different heroes we've created. So this should count up as we create new ones. So let's quickly create two heroes. So I'm going to do A, B, C as a hero and create him. And it says here, I have made one different heroes. Okay, so A, B, C was one guy. Let's put in uh, H, J, K as another hero. And let's see what his number comes up as. Okay, so it says I have two different heroes. So this list is obviously being saved. Let's go see something else and click create. And now we have three different heroes. So far, so good. So we can, we can guarantee that there's three people on the list. Now what I'd like to do, though, is when we create the uh, hero, that we open a second form and show a list of heroes. So we'll save that for the next video, where we create a second form. 